everyone here is how I put together this little bullion train motif now I'm just using some DMC floss that I already have in my stash but if you're curious the colors are blue number 827 light brown number 543 and yellow 745 and as always I just pull one floss at a time otherwise you will have a hot mess in a hurry so I started recording this embroidery work while Henry napped on me and that's why you can see this is rocking but then he started to wake up up, so I had to rock him and it was just turned into a hot mess so I'm gonna pick up a little later in the motif but it still should all make sense and I hope hope that's true to make each cart you'll do three bullion stacked on top of each other I like to start with the middle bullion so I can get the cart centered vertically where I want it and make sure that the you know bullions are still stacked with no gaps so I make each bullion using eight wraps using three strands of floss and so I come up wrap counterclockwise that's just my personal preference to wrap counterclockwise and then I make sure that when you're wrapping whether it's counterclockwise or clockwise that each wrap is laying flat against your needle you don't want any twist in these wraps because they will look like a hot mess and then I hold those wraps with my index finger and thumb while I pull my needle through and your wraps shouldn't be too tight that it's difficult to pull your needle through then you can use your needle to kind of fluff up the wraps as needed until it's laying nicely into place. And I just continue that for all of the carts. Now in between the carts, I use this light brown color number 543 to put six wraps for the train links. And then to finish the front of the train, I did one vertical bullion at the front of that cart. And then I did... And that's about six wraps or so. And then I did two vertical wraps, again, about six wraps each. And then one longer horizontal bullion on top of those, connecting this, if you will. And that bullion is about ten wraps total. It's whatever distance is going to work for your your motif. You could obviously alter this as you desire. But that kind of box out the top of the train, if you will. And then at any point in this motif to tie off, what I do is I take my needle to the back of the work and go through some of those loose threads from the embroidery and I go through them again to create a loop and then I go through that loop. You can go through that loop just once or twice, whatever your preference is, but that will secure your floss down. From there, I did the cow catchers, I think that's what it's called, and that was just three wraps centered at the vertical bullion at the front of the cart. And then finally, I did some knots for the wheels of the train, and each knot had three wraps, and each train cart had two wheels, or two knots, whatever you want to call them. And there you have it, this little train cart out of, of bullion stitches. Oh, and be careful that when you iron over your bullions, put like a thick towel down or something. Here I'm using some quilting batting, but you don't want to squish those bullions, and having something thick like a towel helps prevent your bullions from getting squashed when you iron them. So here I'm making this little garment for a CC Jamie for our little Henry and I will link the full sewing tutorial below if you are interested. I hope this video was helpful. If you all have any questions please leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. And as always I appreciate you all for watching and I hope to catch you all next time.